Hey guys, uh, this is Alisek, and uh, so a lot of people have been asking me to make a tour of my of my Minecraft world, and uh, I haven't I haven't played this world in a in a long time actually. Uh, it's been a long time since I've streamed with it. It's been a long time since I've played it at all actually, um, and that's mainly because I. I've just been losing interest in Minecraft, honestly. I've been playing this game since very early alpha. Uh, since... Last August? August 2011? Um, probably even a bit longer than that. But... It... It has been extremely fun. I'm... I definitely do miss, miss alpha, but I, I think that's just because of of all of the nostalgia and not just because alpha was legitimately better um, but yeah so the main point is I'm getting extremely bored of minecraft I tried I tried to kinda of force myself back into it but I just I just can't do it and then just a little while ago uh, Jeb or whoever is now working on the on the game kinda of borked kinda of borked my world so now it kinda of doesn't work that well uh, it crashes about every 30 minutes. Uh, I fixed it from like crashing every five seconds, but it still crashes quite often. And I mean, this is the world that I've worked on since beta 1.2. So combined, combined with my world crashing and combined with me playing it for just so goddamn long, I'm, I'm just bored to death of Minecraft, and uh, I've just lost the motivation. Um, but yeah, back onto the main point of this video. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to to kind of make a make a full tour of it. So I hope that you guys are getting a good enough tour through my rambling on. Um, and hopefully, if I remember, there'll be a download link to download the world through uh, through Mediafire in the description. If anyone needs a different link, then go ahead and let me know, because some people may not be able to download through Mediafire if they're at work or for another reason. But um. So yeah, here we have the the town of Wine, named by I think it was Loadclaw who named that. Um, and actually, here's the only person's house I I got around to making uh, dragons. It's a pretty crappy house. I'm not going to lie. That's not because I don't love dragons. That's just because I'm a terrible house maker. All these are pretty much all these houses are pretty pretty boring. Let's see whose houses I have here. Mito cows, Robaliciouses. Linmoles, Dr. Ploxo, and then over here we have Mr. Emo Pineapple, McSculley's, ugh, this house disgusts me, Dr. Doak, and Toothpaste Toothbrush. Uh, that's pretty much, that's like the only houses I got around to making. I know that there's a lot of, a lot more people out there, but, um, Max, and then Squishy, also known as Squish of Doom. We haven't seen in a while. That's alright. Uh, and then here, this is kind of like I was gonna make an a, I was gonna make a uh, a Fa Sand City over here, but didn't go so well because it's kind of got turned into ice here. So I only had over here to work with, and you know, uh, creeper holes everywhere. Nothing really to work with over here to make a big sand city. Um, but yeah, whatever. No sand city in my world, that's alright, I'll have to leave that to cope. Oh, whose world I also have, for some reason, I don't know how I got that, I don't remember. Uh, Cantot's Bitch Ditch. Cantot came around maybe once, and he asked me to dig him a ditch. And he has two sheep. I, he never came around again. Duh. Um, let's see, and there's like this kind of big awkward open area, I meant to convert that into grass at some point, but never really did. Uh, Load's Fountain of Youth still stands strong. Good, good, good. Load turned like, what, 13 yesterday, I think it was? Congrats to Load. Um, this is going to be longer than I thought it'd be. I didn't realize I'd have so much to, uh, to tell about. This sheep has been alive ever since the, uh, ever since that new thing where animals don't despawn. I made him a big old thing, brought him out here. And a big railway almost to, to bring them out here is kind of difficult. And then here we go into my main my main creation of the world. Uh, by the way, I don't really have anything 
official else to say. She's just kind of rambling on exploring the world now. Um, so yeah, I've got some waterfalls in here, a bunch of chests, some of that. That ladder leads to somewhere, I'll show that later. Got a bit of a walkway up there. Down over here is my diamond mine. Uh, down those stairs is to where the nether portal is. And here's just some furnaces and workbenches here. They're not really doing much. Uh, over here we have some other stuff. This is actually where my original house was. I had like a little place built into the wall here. With like some awkward chests that look all the like a penis. Um, I don't know why I see that. Probably because I'm 14. Uh, just like a little wall right here. Uh, and then I expanded it. Kind of made my home in this little valley protected by these big mountains. Um... Got a big reed farm. I was going to make some enchantments and go fight the ender boss, but I never really got around to that. That's alright. Probably never play Minecraft anymore. If I do ever come back to Minecraft, that'll probably be what I what I do in this world. I'll probably find uh, find my way to the ender boss and kill him. But I don't know if that stronghold is going to generate in this world or not. Because he might actually not. Because this, is, this world is from like beta 1.2 or something silly like that. So uh, let me just grab some food real quick before I continue on, um, which oddly enough I don't think I have any food, so if I starve to death in the middle of this that will do bad. Um, but yeah, because I, I can't really sprint around anymore, it's going to be kind of difficult to move quick around the map, I wish I could rocket jump like in TF2. I've been playing a lot of that actually, TF2 instead of Minecraft, that's kind of my new thing now. Um, also Skyrim, I played a bit of Skyrim, but not too much. So we come down here, we see a bit of, I don't know, like a weird, I don't even know what to call this place, a building. Opens up to a big old castle, this is like another addition onto my my little valley base here. This is like the main barracks to where I uh, go off to war. Not, not Barak barracks. And then we come back through here, this is the way I came. You know, if you have bad memory, don't worry, I'll keep you filled in. And then, come back through here, in this place again, and then, we can go up this ladder. You know, I've been playing this game so long, this music causes all that nostalgia. About as much as nostalgia as Legend of Zelda, or Mario, Mario, however you say it. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Um... So down there is not much, if you guys want to download it and look at it, there's just like a kind of failed water slide I never really got around to doing. Uh, we go down here into the depths here, and then there's... Here is a, uh... Crap, those are chests, basically. Uh, they're not really holding anything. They're just kind of here to look pretty. And, uh... I thought I was going to need this much storage, but... Turns out I'm not going to actually need that much. And then here... If we actually break our way through the wall, there's a little encampment here that I was planning on using for something, but never got around to. Um, yep. Yeah. It's gonna hide some valuables back there or something from all the evil nothing in this world. Uh, so then we go back down here, and... Food. Oops. I got a bed, that's where I would sometimes sleep, and uh... That is about it to this world. Oh, but then also, I built this little encampment on my first stream at the forge. Uh, kind of an awkward little thing here. And then this was this is supposed to go down here, but I kind of closed it off because it didn't really work so well. So uh, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed the uh, the little tour of my world. Like I said, the download link will be in the description, and um, yeah, see you guys later.